Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and in this session we will be talking about how we can apply filter query on CDS list row action in Power Automate. So now let's get started. First of all, let me talk about the business requirement. So basically I have one CDS or Dataverse table called device order. Here I have different column and I want to apply a filter on my table over here. Basically, I wanted to apply the filter based on the device name and who has requested for the device. Meaning, I wanted to have on a uh, filter on requested by column as well. Now, how can we apply that condition into Power Automate? Because we are going to fetch the CDS or Dataverse rows from our Power Automate. So, we will be talking more about that thing in detail throughout this session. So, let's get started. So first of all, let me open up my Power Automate and let me create instant cloud flow over here. So I am just clicking on create button and now let's click on instant cloud flow. I am manually triggering this flow and now let me just click on create and let's give the name of our flow. Now let's add one action. Click on common data service and now here we have an action called list rows. So let's add that action. Now. Here we need to provide our table name or CDS entity name. So let's say let's provide here as device name. So let's provide device orders. Now once we provide our table name, it will show some advanced option to us. Now here we can provide our filter query. But before we provide that, let's save our flow and now let's try to run it. And let's have the internal name that are being used for this particular dataverse. So I just stored my flow and now I am just manually testing that and let's see what we are getting over there. The flow ran successfully and now let's expand list row action and click on show row output and here we can see that different available columns. Now let's say here I want to apply my query on requested by. So this is the internal name for requested by column. So we just need to copy that and paste it to any of our notepad file because we are going to add that as a condition from the filter query. So let's store that name. Similar way I would have some another column named device name. So let's copy that and paste it over here. Right now let's edit our flow and let's redefine the condition in filter query. Now first of all let me define two input variable over here. So I am defining two input variable. The first variable is device name and second variable would be requested by. Now let's add filter condition. So first of all let's provide the filter uh, internal column name over here. So basically I wanted to have a condition that requested by is equal to the username that we are passing here. So we just need to provide the internal column name then eq and then we need to have a single quote and in single quote we need to provide the requested by variable. So just click on this expression here and let's provide requested by right now i wanted to have one more condition with and that device name should be the device name that i am passing over there now device name is something which should have the contents condition it is not something like it should be exactly match if the statement contains those words we need to consider that so for that we will just use contains query contents and in contents first of all we need to provide the column name so we just copied our uh, internal column name as device name. So let's paste that column name over here. And now we just need to press comma and single quote. In single quote we need to provide the initialized variable that was device name. So let's just click here device name. So let's provide the device name over here and it has been added successfully. Now. Uh, after that we just need to have one step for apply to each and now let's pass the value 
and similar way let's add one compose action and inside that let's provide body so this is how we can easily fetch the data based on the conditions now let's taste our flow so let me manually trigger the flow now here we need to provide the email address now here we need to provide the device name and requested by so let me provide the device name as microsoft and now similar way in requested by let's provide the email address so i just copied this and paste it over here and now let's run the flow so we have fetched two items over here and now let's go to the apply to each and here you can see that entire array over here like this right so this is how we can easily apply the filter query condition on the cds list row action right so here also if we go to this table uh, with respect to microsoft name we have two devices so two devices has been fetched and requested by email address is same for all so we fetch exit two records over there right so this is how we can easily fetch the records based on the condition from cds table or our dataverse table hope this is clear for you now if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section or if you have any request for cds concept you can add your request as well in the comment section so whenever i will get a chance i will make a separate video on that if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay connected with me on facebook linkedin twitter and whatsapp also if you are interested to listen different power platform podcast here is the link where you can listen your favorite power platform podcast on your favorite podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more also if you are interested to listen different learning from instagram just click on there it will redirect you to your instagram account here you can learn different power platform concept from instagram so uh, please follow me on my instagram account the id is power platform guy also one more important thing if you are looking for any consultancy training or any help here is the website where you can visit and add your queries over there also if you are interested for short power platform video here is a separate channel called digital dhruvin just click on that and hit subscribe button and show your love over there as well this is dhruvin signing off see you in the next session have a great day goodbye